Good morning, everybody. Sean here, Park City Harvest. Hope everyone's having a good season or good start of the season. Today, we're going to be doing doing an instructional video on pruning an apple tree. Uh, when you're pruning your apple tree, you do want to do it when the tree is fully dormant. So you want to wait till mid to late winter to make sure that's going on. And uh, what we're going to be doing when we're pruning is we're going to be taking out anything that is dead, diseased, dying, or that's actually growing back into the tree. Uh, a lot of things we're going to be taking off as well are any branches that's going to cause too much shade. So as you see here, we're going to take some of these off. And you want to make sure your pruners are clean, make sure they are sterile, and make sure that they are sharp as well. For the moment, we'll just toss the branches to the side. We'll make sure we clean those up, keep anything from around it as well. Um, most uh, orchards, we like to keep our trees within an 8 feet height. That way you can work from the ground itself. And what you're going to do is all your fruits are going to be born on horizontal branches. So any of the new growth or any growth that is growing straight up or that is not at least on a 45 degree angle will not produce any fruit that year. So if there are some that you want to keep, just to keep the tree growing in the direct, uh, specific direction you want, you may keep those. What you're going to want to do though is any of the buds that look like they're growing in a direction where they may cause any type of shade to any under branches at all, such as this one here. This branch will cause shade to this one. We want to keep everything low as possible. So we'll prune that one off right there. And if you are a, a propagator as well, one thing that you can do with your apple trees when you are pruning them is you're going to notice all of these new shoots coming up from the bottom and the base of the tree. These here are going to actually be able to be used for root stock. So if you follow along with us in our apple series, what we'll be doing is we'll be doing some mound layering which will cause these branches to produce their own specific roots and we will graft the type of uh, fruiting tree that we want on top of it. So stay tuned, we'll keep you in tune with everything about that and happy pruning to everybody and keep it green.